Hi there Pisces and welcome to your December 2016 love forecast with me Heart Divine. So um yeah, I do apologize for the delay with the readings for Pisces. Um since I've been really swamped with my personal readings with other clients, so I do apologize for that. But um yeah, uh, here is the reading for Pisces. Wow. Um, to be honest with you guys, the reading for Pisces for December is very interesting and can be um, interpreted in different kinds of ways for different kinds of people. So I will do my best to give you the messages that I'm picking up. Um, hopefully it will be helping you guys understand what's going to happen how things are going to unfold and what you can do um, in the situation if there is something that you can do but I do believe that there is always something um, that you can do each time for your certain situation so um, yeah so for Pisces one thing that we pick up very strongly here has something to do with communication and I kind of feel that if this has been blocked to you before um, in the month of December I am very sure that you will be um, very open in terms of communication so you probably are willing to talk things out with someone or you are wanting to reach out with someone that sort of thing I do pick this up very strongly and with this communication um, something is about to start or something official is about to begin so it doesn't really give us mu much information on what it is going to happen it's just that uh, that communication is the start of everything of what's going to be unfolding in terms of your love life and relationships just make sh it's just more of a message that um give us some form of awareness that communication plays a big role in your love life and relationships right now so um yeah okay so pisces um more or less i kind of feel that this is there is a chance that I'm picking up a Pisces man. It could be a Pisces rising, could be a Pisces itself. I'm picking this up more of a man, but um, it could also be a woman. So I don't know. I'm just picking up someone that um, is being logical. Someone's being logical about certain things or they have done something based on their own set of conditions and decisions but I kind of feel that this person has hurt someone whether intentional or not they have hurt someone and it's kind of they might show that they're they are all cool about it but it seems that it is actually troubling them. I kind of feel that this is more of their conscience speaking or their conscience is acting up. Like, there is something that they keep on thinking about. There is something that you keep thinking about, Pisces. Or it could be that, you know, this person, whoever this is, who plays an, um, an important role in your life, keep thinking about the things that probably they have said or may not have said they may not have you know tell, told you anything but for some reason whatever they did it's um it's not making them feel okay at all i kind of feel that you know they have a hard time um, sleeping or they have a hard time controlling their emotions they have a hard time to 
have that poker face kind of a um, scenario because you kind of feel that this person is very stubborn very logical so um, I don't know what they did but it seems that this person did something that it's not easy to forgive and it's not easy to forget it's somehow can traumatize you in one way or another i do not see it as a cheating but that is possible but i just kind of feel that they have done something that cause cause someone some form of trauma that's what i'm picking up so they are forcing themselves to to work focus on other things in life focus on their career but everything is more in within you know all the troubles all the the um all the regrets all all the bad feelings that they are feeling it's all inside of them and they're not able to release this but they're aware of it so it's it reminds me of you know of a sin that you are unable to confess and day by day it's not making you feel okay at all it's not making them feel okay at all whoever this is that I'm picking up it could also be that on another aspect it could also be that this is more of a Pisces that keeps on thinking overthinking about someone overthinking about a certain situation and they are slowly becoming delusional about certain things but like they keep thinking and thinking on one thing and they're building up stories in their mind more on assumptions it's just an assumption but they're kind of believing that these these thoughts and I kind of feel this is more a negative thinking pattern, that, that sort of thing, you know. You're thinking very negatively about certain things. And you may not show this to other people, but deep inside of you, it's like going mental or something. I do not mean that, that in a literal sense. It's just that, you know, there are times when we overthink. And... This is a situation wherein that overthinking becomes quite excessive. Way too much. That sort of thing. So, yeah. There's a lot of anxiety that I'm picking up here. It's like a mixture of what's going on with your mind and what's going on with your heart. So, um, it's easy. It's easy to to point out when you're just being logical, but it it's really confusing and troubling when your heart is struggling and your mind is at a mess as well. It's like you don't know what to do anymore. You don't know what is the right thing to do, what is the right thing to say, um, how to solve the situation that you're in because everything is just at a mess. And this is how I'm picking up um the situation right now for pisces or it could be this is you or it could be someone that you know okay so um yeah i kind of feel that in the recent past you are back into a corner it's like something happened in the recent past and you have no way out you do not have control over the situation and I kind of feel that you had no choice but to just shut up. You had no choice but to not do anything and just let the situation happen. There was nothing that you could have, could have done. It could be an argument wherein you cannot win no matter what you do, no matter what you say. So you had no choice but to close yourself off. It could be you leaving a situation behind or you left someone or you have silent, um, well, you have stopped talking to someone, that sort of thing. It's not because that you do not want to talk to this person, but I kind of feel that you cannot handle any more arguments that his, 
that is happening. On another aspect, this could also mean that, you know, there's just too much um, fighting going on and arguments that you just did not have any choice but just to go with the flow. And, you know, you did not put up a fight. You did not fight for anything. You did not try to speak your mind. Nothing at all. You just have... You just went into the flow. Um, it's like playing dead, you know. No matter what happens, you just play dead. Regardless of what other people say or do. That sort of thing. So, um... The challenge right now is that I kind of feel that there are Pisces out there thinking about starting to communicate with someone. It could be that if you have been silent for quite some time now, if you have not reached out with that person, I kind of feel that you are at the point where and you're thinking about wanting to reach out with that person. Or probably you're going to stop them, that sort of thing. You're looking out with some towards someone, trying to figure things out. Like putting attention from one person to one person, rather. It could also be that, you know, um, I pick up like saying sorry, like apologizing to someone as well. Trying to fix things, trying to mend things, that sort of thing. It's like you're trying to to balance things out but at the same time it's not as if saying sorry is enough it's not as if what you're gonna do or you're about about to do is enough but at the same time you wanted to do it or you're still guided to do it despite how much um no matter what you do it's not going to fix what you have done in the past it's not going to fix the situation, but all you can do is to try to open up towards this person again. That sort of thing. Um, in the near future, I do see that um, some form of happiness is in place. It gives me that sense of unable to let go of someone. I'm picking this up. I really feel that with Pisces, the struggle, there is struggle in the situation, in the relationship. But you have to see this more of a blessing in disguise, you know. The start is never easy, but it will bear wonderful things. It could be a start of something new in a relationship because I do not see you meeting someone new but this is more of a fixing fixing some things and starting anew with that person so I kind of feel that for some of you guys you should not try to resist the change that is about to happen or will happen. That sort of thing. I just kind of feel that, you know, the near future, it's hard for me to interpret because it's like a mixture of a negative situation and a positive one. It's like you are in a situation that is very much complicated and cannot be explained in just simple wor words alone. But what you need to know is that something good is going to come. Some form of blessing is going to come into your life, into your relationship. And that is just something that you have to trust at this point in time. I just kind of think that a lot of you guys should stop thinking that there's nothing that I can do about it. Because this is more of a, this is what I'm picking up in the near future. There is that sense of, uh, there's nothing I can do about it, so I'm just going to be waiting for a miracle to happen. And 
that is just what Tinder thinks when you think like that. So I kind of feel that there's going to be some form of opportunities that is going to arise, but you have to grab that. You also need to do something about it. That's what I pick up here. So yeah, new beginning is in place. I kind of feel that December um, sort of lightened up the load to what has happened in, in the past few months for you, especially in the past two months. So, um, yeah, it does show here that someone comes for you um, or you come, you are going to come forward to someone else because I do see some form of communication and caring still. You're, you still care about someone. Someone still cares about you and they are going to um, communicate with you or talk to you. That is the energy that I'm picking up. It's either you or this person. Who will come in what you need to know is just is, is that this month is never going to be easy you know but from that struggle there is going to be some form of happiness right after okay so With the position of what you need to know and how this affects you, we do have the Ten of Swords and the Tower. So this is really one of the reasons why I'm having a hard time with this reading because no matter what I do, this is really not a, not really a good combination at all. It's like, an ending of something, something breaking down. It's something that you have no idea going to happen, but it did. But I kind of feel that from what from whatever this is, upon realizing, I kind of feel that there is something that you are going to realize, you are going to be opening up your eyes with. Once this happens, whatever that situation is, as it could be different for each and every one of you guys, since this is just a general reading, I really cannot point out what that could be. I kind of feel that it gives you a chance to really think about certain things. A chance to... to fix some things. I, I keep thinking that you are about to fix something because in the very future outcome we do have the five of cups and the eight of swords as the very outcome of things and i kind of feel that you're hung up with someone hung up with someone in the past so it could be that you are still I kind of feel that there is something that you are going to be resolving in the past. We do have the clarifier card of the Ten of Cups with that. So, even if you do not want to do anything, I kind of feel that in one way or another, you are going to be doing something because in reality, you want to be happy. You want to have that sort because I kind of feel you have isolated yourself. You think that you're going to be fine, you're going to be okay, but for some reason, it led you to feeling worse and worse. So within December, I kind of feel that there is some form of action being taken. Something really happens that gives you some form of happiness, but... It has a price, you know. It's not something that happens just because you wish it to happen. Just because you want it to happen. So, just want to let you know that there are things that you might experience within the month that makes you feel sad. But 
there is some form of blessing in disguise along with it. So you just need to <laughs> grab on that hope. So I kind of feel that this is the month we're in. Even though you try to be stubborn, you try to be logical, I kind of feel that your feelings is going to win you over. So what you truly feel is just really coming out. This is the time we're in. You just cannot be logical anymore. And even if you are trying to be logical, in your mind, you're still feeling very much... Um, disappointed in everything and the last card that we have in the other tarot deck we do have another ten of swords so I kind of feel that this is really going to affect a lot of you guys so what you need to do is to grab on that hope that you know things are going to be fine and to follow what you truly feel to get this ten of cups I kind of feel that in December you have a chance to actually be happy by realizing what truly makes you happy, who truly makes you happy, those kinds of things. So if you need to apologize to someone, do so. You know, if you have done your part, let them do their part this time around since I kind of feel that, you know, balance is needed. So, um, yeah, that's the reading for Pisces. So, I hope this has helped you and given you insights to what is to come and how the situation will unfold. It's not really... I don't think it's a bad reading. I just kind of feel it's quite challenging. But it will lead you to the path that brings you happiness. And that is always a good thing. So, um, yeah, thank you, Pisces, for watching and subscribing with me. And I'll see you next year, guys. Goodbye.